Hi, this is Vicky from Peaceful Heart Studio. Um, I don't do many videos because I don't really find time, but I thought I would make an effort and do one in the hope that this might help somebody. Um, so I run my own little business called Peaceful Heart Studio. I've put the, the link at the bottom to my website so you can see the sorts of things that I do, uh, mainly family portraits and gifts and things. Um, but I've recently, about six months ago, started doing pet portraits for, for people realistic ones which I really enjoy but then I come across the vector style ones and I thought I'm going to try and see if I can have a go at them um this is the kind of style I'm talking about you know there's like lines um and it's really difficult actually it's took me a little while to to grasp it but I'll show you um some tricks I found so I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube tutorials and things um, and people use the vector programs as vectorator on the iPad and um, this one Adobe Illustrator is the one that I, I'm using at the moment um, so I'll show you the ones I usually do this is the kind of style that I do so it's quite realistic to no sharp lines or anything and I do them in Procreate it's, a little, it's my dog um, yeah, so I've got Vectinator there as well, which I've been trying to do them on, and I just couldn't do it. So I thought I will sign up for the you know the seven day free trial on Adobe Illustrator and give it a go because all the tutorials that I've seen on YouTube they all use Adobe Illustrator. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go, but I found it's just as difficult. So you have got your pictures as Illustrator here, and use the pen, and they're all the people I'm watching doing these tutorials to all using these vectors and you've got to, you know, bend it and oh, I, I, I just can't get the hang of it. I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. And I, I really admire the people who've got the patience for it to do it. I don't know. Pull it down and things. But what I wanted to try and do was do the, you know, the fair, you look at that picture I first showed you. Um, who was it? This. That one. Where is it? That one. It's sharp lines, the fairs, really sharp edges and, you know, bends and things like that. And it's, I just couldn't, can't work out how to do it. Oh, I don't know. I thought, I'm giving up. I'm going to give up. Um, so vectinase is the same. Um, where is it? Vectinase. Vectinase is the same. You your pen, and then you, you know, you bend and fill it in and things like that. You got these options, um, and it is really good. It's free, but to go to go and trace around the edges of a photo, just I don't know. Just and then what does this one do? And it's got. I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I lost interest pretty quick. And they do have on Vectinator, they have this drawer and thing, which I thought, oh, this might be good. But it's so wobbly. And then, I mean, you can, I think you can do settings where it's straighter and things like that. But, you know, to try and do like the hair, it's still just, no, it's not good. And then I watched a video of someone doing these things on Procreate and I thought, brilliant, I will have a go on Procreate. Um, where's the stuff where I'll just put a new one in. So say you have, you know, import a, a photo of the dog. Oh, there's my dog. That's not it, it's a different one. Um, where is he? I don't know anyone, just pick this. Just, just just random dog um, and they were using the I can't remember which one it was under now but it's this the script brush they were using and I love the way you can colour pick on Procreate that's what Adobe Illustrator needs um, sorry god I'm not doing very well here am I but look so it's pixelated can't do it so these, I don't know whether they just looked good from 
a distance or something, I don't know. And then also with this, if you, when you fill them, you gotta fill in the gaps. Hmm. So you can colour pick and, and you can drop it. But look, you see? There's gaps you have to colour in. But then I discovered on Adobe Illustrator this pencil tool and I thought, hmm, is it gonna be the same as on Vectinator where it's all wobbly and just doesn't look good. Um, but no, it's not. It's actually really good. <laughs> and the lines you can draw are sharp and look. Look how sharp the lines are. If you can zoom in. That's just what I need to get going to learn how to do this. Um, this blob brush as well. I don't know what you'd use that for. Oh, I suppose you could, there you go, make a fear or something. Can you, you can do the points or something. No, yeah, you can. It's not, I'm used to using Procreate where it's like pressure sensitive, but if you can see that that could be here. You'd use that. And then, back to the pencil, so the blob brush and the pencil. It's tough to do a nostril. How easy it is to do a nostril. Fill it in. Don't know why that's not getting filled. Anyway, it's filled now. How easy was that? I'm just doing it quickly, obviously, because I'm doing a demo. Perfect. Exactly what you need. Now, if I was going to do, delete down to, if I was going to do the nostril with how they're doing it online, I don't even know how. Now I'm on the wrong side now. I don't even know what I've done there. Should you have to start on a certain side? I don't know. Like that, is it? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Look how bad that is. I just haven't got the time or the patience to do it like that, but I have got the patience to do it with the pen. Look, you can colour in the collar. Quickly be able to do the collar. Mm, I'll keep pressing it like on Procreate, it doesn't work like that. Um, okay, the red. Oh, the dogs want my attention. Look, how quick you can do it. So I hope that's helped somebody. Because that's been driving me absolutely crazy. How you can do it so quick. How people can make money off it if they're only selling them for, for 15 pounds or something online. Because it must take them hours to do it with these vectors, but I think they're using the pen. Um, well, hope it helps somebody anyway. All right, see you soon, bye.